DC officials got some big name support today in their fight for statehood. Tom Rousey is live downtown with what President Obama had to say about it. Tom. You know, Kenneth, he was speaking this afternoon here at the Walker Jones Education Campus. He was talking about an initiative for young minority men. Well, after he was done talking, he opened up the floor for some questions. And here's what happened next. On D.C. statehood? Yes. Well, that's uh, the uh, I'm in D.C., so I'm for it. The president made that remark after no, a question I, look, from a I, member I, I, of the audience. For some living in D.C., statehood is not a big deal. It's not something that's a priority for me. But for others, it's a long-time dream. We're a part of the whole country, and we should have equal uh, participation in the government, have equal say as well. Folks in D.C. pay taxes like everybody else. So what they does it mean for supporters of the cause to have the uh, president himself to, say D.C. should be a state? Well, it certainly can't hurt, right? I mean, he's president of the United States, so, I mean, he's our our elected leader. Still a tough road ahead. The only way you can walk, you got to put one foot ahead of the other. That's all I got to say. And you heard one person there say it would still be a tough road ahead. And you're looking at why right there, even though the president supports this in Congress. Traditionally, there has been a lot of opposition to D.C. statehood, especially from Republicans. If they made D.C. a state, it would have two senators. Those senators would very likely not be Republicans. So that's one political reason why some have opposed it. Others have claimed that D.C. isn't big enough to be a state and shouldn't have two senators and a voting representative because of that. Live tonight in Northwest, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. And clear